Hi, I'm Tom Howard, an attorney who likes to develop software. And the piece of the software that I'm promoting currently is called Colitex. It's a viral call app that's designed to get America back on track by giving you, the people of America, the power to contact those in power and keep them accountable to you. So, taking that, I was able to talk to uh, One Million Cups. It's a wonderful startup uh, speaking tour that they have across the country, and I was talking at the one that started Peoria. And there was great, wonderful attendance, uh, 30 to 40 people, and they all wanted to discuss how politics works and how it benefits them. And it benefits them enormously. People can download this and immediately start getting satisfaction on their government officials by uh, playing what we have, no, it's, not, it's not playing, you see, not very many people call Congress, so it's important that you do because if Congress understands what the American people want, you know, we trust in the American people that we will be back on the right track, but currently it's like 85% disapprove of what Congress is doing, and I'd say about 85% of Americans aren't contacting Congress. So we're trying to incentivize more Americans to contact Congress to get America back on the right track, because Congress will only do what you tell them to do. They're trying to represent. And that's what the app does, through its viral call technology. And I was able to explain it to uh, this, this great group of people, and One Million Cups stresses a few things when you are doing explaining. Like first, you need a wow statement. You have to be able to give your business plan in less than 30 seconds, and ours is, we end government frustration. At politics, the job is to end government frustration. How do we do that? By incentivizing you to participate in your government. You're going to get the government you deserve, but wouldn't it be nice if you get the government that you deserve in this 2.0 world? And now we can do it with politics. Because anybody on any issue can be heard. And people of like mind can be heard through the viral call. And what is a viral call? A viral call is like an inverted robocall. Instead of one robot calling a million people, a million people, they don't call a robot. The default is for Congress, so it would be 535 uh, they aren't robots. Seriously. Anyway, that's our wow statement. We end government frustration. And then they move into how you're supposed to promote your business using uh, a mnemonic. SAME. S-A-M-E. However, there's two S's in SAME. It's storytelling, similes, analogies, metaphors, and then an example. So, simile, that's pretty easy. Story, that's pretty easy. The story we, we had is we came up with politics when they were going to shut down the government, the Congress was, and they were going to maybe even default on the debt, which is just shocking, and it sent the markets down very, very sharply, and we're like, well, if only there was some way that we could allow everybody who's feeling that frustration at Congress to easily communicate it to them so they would stop their actions. Politics was born from there. So that's the story. And then there's a simile. We've already done it. Similarly, it was, politics is like an inverted robocall. And there's an analogy, uh, which I can't remember, and I also don't remember the metaphor. But I wrote it down, so I can't remember it. So, they, they do give you a printout when you are going to speak in a million cups, and the metaphor is good, and all these things are good because they try to communicate your idea, which can be kind of clunky in your head. The idea of politics, the vile call, it's pretty clunky, don't get me wrong but you have to make it into images, like real things. They have to be able to see it and picture it, and that's why you use stories and similes and analogies and metaphors. And the metaphor was a million voices of reason ending government frustration. Reason ending frustration. I'm not sure if that's a metaphor. I did write this in the back of the paper. How about this one? Politics turns your voice into change. Politics is the game when you play, democracy wins. That's what we're moving to, and then we have to discuss gamification. This is politics. It's not a game. Do you think politics is a game? Seriously? Well, politics is going to gamify the act of being involved in your government, to incentivize people to be involved in their government. We have to make it fun. We have to make it engaging. Right now, there's a lot of apathy, and we have to combat that. And so we are taking politics, and we are going to see who can make the most viral call in all the land, and rewarding that person for engaging in the democratic process. And it's anything. I mean, it's, it's local issues. It's state issues. It's national issues. I think that customer support lines or customer complaint lines and service lines would even be covered as well for public corporate issues. Uh, corporations or public 
people, and to a certain extent they are, uh, they should also be able to be contacted. Uh, you know, pick up any product, and it usually has a contact information. So let's say in the case of GM, we could have made a politics for the GM recall. I think I think uh, uh, we would be allowed to do that by uh, you know not only the rules that we're applying uh, abiding by with the app, but also you know with the First Amendment. I don't think they could make any types of laws that would curtail that type of action. Anyway, this is the, the great stuff about being an attorney who likes to develop software. Uh, and, and I had a wonderful time speaking to One Million Cups with Startup Peoria, and we're really, really looking forward to what's going to be developing over the course of the months of July and August as the summer recess continues. Thanks.